in today's video family we are going to look into some of the comments some of the most uh replies i've been receiving on my comment section and one of the questions that have been uh, popping over and over uh is about uh, undergraduate asking me uh what do you need to do if you realize your degree is worthless out here especially here in kenya but it's your passion so what i'll be doing i'll be showing you some of the ways that you can get to maneuver about this and of course uh this is out of my own experience uh, since I'm also an undergraduate, I did uh, information technology and uh, over the years I've been maneuvering to uh, venture into different things and I believe you can also get to do the same. But before you get into all that, uh, you need to make sure uh, when you get to come out here, you need to make sure your expectation and your mindset is in check since uh, things as you get to plan them, they don't always uh, go uh, as planned. But before you get into all that, if you're new to the channel, I'll just request you to just go ahead. You make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is just below here, and also turn on the notification bell so that I don't miss each and every episode that I'll be dropping in this channel. And of course, we get to grow as a team, and of course, we get to help each other uh, elevate uh, to higher skills. For now, just allow the intro, and I'm going to see you on the other side. We get to look into some of the ways that you can get uh, to maneuver this life if you're under undergraduate, you have a degree out there, but uh, you're not seeing much uh, come from it. Welcome back. I expect you by now you're already settled in and you're ready to get to tackle this topic. And as I said, we'll be looking into a question that I've been receiving over and over. And this is a question or it's a disturbing thing, especially for people who have gone through the universities, but they are finding a challenge uh, to find a way to make some some living out here. And here's the thing. Uh, I'll just dive into my list and I get to uh, look into some of the things if you, are fo you fall under this uh, uh, category as uh, things that you can get to consider so that uh, by the end of the day you find a way uh, out of this. So first thing first you need to consider which are your strong areas you need to set yourself apart and I, by this I mean each and everybody out there they normally have a way that they can get to stand out like for my kids i'm a guy who really uh, has a, a very creative mind and uh, that's one of my areas that i got to tap in and i got uh, i got into the art industry and by the end of the day uh, that's something that i've been uh, growing as a business as well as that's uh, diversing uh, my portfolio into other areas so if you're an individual who just did hr you don't need to stick to that hr uh, degree you need also to look around and you get to see what exactly can i get to do uh, can i uh, am i a guy who is more hands-on can i get into some technical thing uh, if you're a person who like uh, traveling you can also get uh, if you're an individual who for instance did tourism or hospitality you can also consider uh, uh, instead of looking to be employed into a, for instance, into a hotel, you can come up with those crazy uh, ingredients or recipes, and by the end of the day, you start packaging them into a form that you can get to sell into individuals, into individuals out here. And by the end of the day, you can either choose to start a YouTube channel or compile them into an ebook, which you can get to uh, sell. And of course, uh, that's ready cash out. So uh, that's number one. You need to consider uh, ways that you can get to set yourself apart and you get to stand out trust you me the industry or this life it always uh, find a, finds a way to award or to reward those people who uh, stands out or set themselves apart so let's proceed into a number two and these are by you can get also uh, to learn some technical skills in order to learn some technical skills uh over i've been uh spending some time to go through tiktok and i've realized so many people that are really ins insisting on somebody getting a skill let me say uh i think like speaking english that's not a skill that's a basic thing that uh, we expect each and everyone out there should uh should be in a position to perform by skill i need something that you can get to trade uh trade uh trade for and by the end of the day you get to be paid uh your money so with technical skills uh, nowadays with the uh, development of the internet it has really uh, is and thing uh, you just need to go to youtube look around and you get to see things that you have interest and of course start those baby steps and by the end of the day you will be surprised how far that you can get to go 
with this so some of the technical skills that you can get to look into i'll just suggest a few uh, one of which is video editing we have graphic design web development is also a good area i've also ventured into animation we also have forex trading forex trading is one of the hardest things to do but trust you me if you get to persevere you get to go through the process uh, you get to come the other side a better man and it's something that can get to guarantee your freedom your financial freedom and of course you just need to struggle a few years but after those struggling years you'll see the fruits of your labor so let's proceed into our number two and this is whereby you can consider to go for an internship find for an internship in most cases these internships they get just uh, just a way uh, to shed some light on what the industry expect and what you got to school to so that you be flexible enough to have as uh, a skill that you can get uh, to fit into the uh, industry so in internship uh, these i will suggest this one is for people especially people who are in finance banking these people they they are really into they are they have really accepted to be employees or to have worked for somebody and if you fall under that category i would suggest you go for an internship and it's a good way uh, for you to uh, to to also get exposure as well as to find a way to get into the loop so let's proceed into a number uh, into our next point and this is whereby you can look for uh, volunteer opportunities i've seen so many people who get to join these ngos they don't start as uh, already ex employees but they start uh, with volunteering you will go out there you offer your services and your time and trust me you get to do it long enough you're going to make some contact which uh, might end up leading you into somewhere you might get an opportunity and this is something i believe especially if when you're young and you're still trying to figure out a way out it's a way that uh, anybody uh, who is uh, has that ambitious out there should not be having any problem with since it's one of the ways that you can get to uh, escalate and of course get close to uh, opportunities out there so uh, hopefully, uh, um, uh, hopefully you're getting some sense in what I'm saying, and uh, let's just proceed and we get to look into our last point, and this whereby you can choose uh, to go uh, the traditional way, whereby you get to choose uh, to sell yourself with a CV, of which I'll assure you is not the best way for you to uh, to go out there right now, since uh, so many people they have already taken that route and it's not paying off uh, as you could uh, be expecting or as per your expectation and it's something that can really really uh, frustrate you especially when you're in a very very tight uh, spot so basically if you are there and uh, you are you are degree holder and uh, you're considering or you, it, it's appearing like it's a race for you but you have the passion do consider what i've talked about and trust you me you get to do that long long enough with the consistency you're going to see the light uh, you're going to see light uh, at the end of the tunnel so that's for the case of our today's videos let me know what you think on the comment section let me know also your experiences and i'll be happy to share with the bigger communities and of course we help an individual out there who is uh, in those shoes at the moment Till then, have a good time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and of course, I'll be looking forward to seeing you in our next episode. Peace, guys.